Hello, everyone, and um, I'd like to welcome you to something that is probably long overdue, and that's that I've had quite a number of my clients say, hey, I see that you've got a YouTube channel now, and um, could you explain a little bit about what it is that you do with your muscle testing? And I see that you're making some of these beautiful uh, uh, medallions and different things that seem to have a biblical purpose, and if nothing else, they give us energy and things like that. Can you go into that a little bit? And I said, well, sure, I'm, I'm sure it's about time. So let me just say that uh, what I do specifically is use a muscle testing technique called contact reflex analysis. It was pioneered by a wonderful gentleman by the name of Dr. D.A. Versendahl. And as far as I can remember, I believe that he started uh, doing research on this in the 1950s. Sadly, a few years ago, he was uh, killed in an automobile accident and uh, found his way to heaven, I'm sure. And uh, But he left behind a legacy of literally thousands of practitioners that, depending on how much effort they put into it, um, could do wonderful things uh, using the meridian systems of the body and muscle testing to find really nutritional deficiencies in people. So if somebody wants me to do a workup for them, I'm not trying to cure anything. What we're trying to do is simply find out if the body had the right kinds of nutrition that is show, they're showing deficient in, could the body turn some things around on its own? And the answer to that seems to be yes. Now we as much as we appreciate what they do, it's a very rare traditional medical doctor that's going to be able to give you that, that kind of advice. In fact, what they're going to do is probably put you on every kind of drug from a statin to who knows what, uh, whether you need it or not. It seems like that, you know, when I get reports from people, you know, their your blood pressure um, is five points too high and they want to put you on uh, some kind of a drug. Well, Obviously, there's, and they will even tell you that if you change your diet, if some cases, if some people are smoking, if they quit smoking, that things can improve. But there's more than just food going on around us these days. And obviously, from the way that the chemicals and pesticides are needed to get rid of a lot of the bugs in the farmlands and things like that, you know, it's it's crazy to believe that somehow, some way, they're not going to find their way in some fashion into the foods that we eat. And that doesn't even count for things being genetically modified. So what people do is they pay me a consultation fee and I have a very specific sheet and I'm hoping with the planet Earth and star background that we'll be able to see this just very briefly, but I have a sheet here that I use and uh, you'll be able to see a little bit of it, I hope, uh, not much apparently, but anyway, this particular sheet, I think that's maybe one way to see it. I, I can kind of get a reflection, has literally dozens of reflex points that I score from zero to 10. And 10 usually being the best. There's a couple of exceptions where the numbers are higher uh, if they're normal. But this is not something that I just guess at. This is something that with assistance, that when I hear your voice, your voice is broadcasting just like an AM or FM radio station. Every frequency point that I need to check, I hear it then I'm tested in your place as a surrogate, much like you praying for cousin Louie or cousin Susie at church on Sunday. Um, and you stand in for them, the pastor or the prayer team prays for you. And uh, so it's very accurate. I've told this story literally probably thousands of times now, but nearly 25 years ago, I was at a conference and a lady came up to me and she said, well, you know, if you just hear somebody's voice, you can stand in and be tested just as if you were that person because your their voice carries all the reflex points. Well, I had a group of people that were going to be in the Raleigh, North Carolina area and um, also some in Charlotte. And I 
had their phone numbers and I called them all up, did tests on them. Then when I went there, I did the tests. And when I got home and I compared the two, the one I did over the telephone, because in those days I didn't, you know, I didn't have a cell phone and everybody were carrying bag phones around in those days. And when I compared the two, they were literally identical right down the line. So I knew that it worked. Well, I didn't really need to incorporate it into my practice, but kind of filed it away in the back of my mind. And now with the advent of all of the Zoom calls and, and messengers, and we can talk to people around the world, well, what do you do if somebody's in Germany or South Africa or Israel or somewhere in South America? Well, the answer to that is, is that we can get on Facebook Messenger and talk, or I can, they send me a voice clip. Uh, I can do the same thing for them as if they were sitting in my office in a chair. And so that's a wonderful thing. And uh, so we go through that. I, I put a uh, piece of paper on the top, basically, where I type everything out or handwrite it um, right down the line, a very precise, detailed program that always lasts for three months. Um, is a part of what I do. Uh, I give a six weeks update on just the nutritional part only so that I can make sure that that person is doing what they're supposed to be doing or in the event that maybe that person was quite low on internal energy and the body was pretty much only saying, hey, I'm just going to show you the like things that we really have to address up front. And as we're addressing those, all of a sudden, something like Lyme disease might show up, maybe a liver issue. Um, and then we add the nutrition that we need to add at that point. And uh, so on my website, which is docrodich.com, so it's D-O-C-R-O-D-I-C-H.com, as opposed to my Gmail that has a period in between the, the doc and the Rodich. Um, if you go there, you'll see that on the page where you can choose a consultation, there's one just for the nutritional part and then just for the spiritual assessments that we can do as well that are done the same way through the voice uh, prints. And then there's a combination price where you save $100 if you do both together, which I think is very reasonable because you can do both, especially if you're somebody that's engaging heaven on a regular basis. And those of you who are will know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if you're doing that, then you kind of need to have metrics to know, hey, this is strong. This is a little weak. And, that, and that's what we do. But I'll, I'll share a little bit more about that in just a couple of minutes. But again, let me remind you that from the nutritional standpoint, it's really high powered nutrition that we're, we're, we're trying to put out there. So for instance, Here's one that I always have folks get for um, veins and arteries if they're if they're clogged. Well, that's a wonderful product. I've been using that nearly the whole time I've been doing this for 30 years. And the, and the stories that we have that have come in of people that, you know, they were 70, 80 percent blocked and now they're not blocked at all. Uh, you know, their doctors, my gosh, what did you do? I need to know what you did. And. <laughs> You know, they won't tell them most of the time because they're afraid the doctors are going to go crazy. But they're, they're herbs that, that just melt everything away. And now, obviously, there's a deeper issue that we would like to address, too, as to why it even happened in the first place. But you want to address things properly. So if you're low on vitamin A, if you're low on B complex, if you need some more vitamin C, wouldn't you like to know with person specific information, this is just you what it is you need to take. And from a nutritional standpoint, that's exactly what I do. Now, I don't sell any of these products. I just tell you to get them off of Amazon or go to your local chiropractor or whatever. But like, here's a company that I like to use called Standard Process. They have tons of stuff. They've been around since the late 1920s using what could actually be called nutraceuticals instead of pharmaceuticals. And, uh, but this prescription grade nutrition, there's another wonderful company called Biotics that is the same way. I think they're, some of their people some years ago broke off a of standard process and started their own company. And it's every bit as good as standard process. In fact, they have some products that I think exceed as standard process also has some that are really hard to beat as well. But there's any number of things that we can do. If somebody's on a budget, you know, I've uh, I can give them a budget way to take care of parasites in their system, or if 
you know, they have more money than they know what to do with. I can give them the, you know, the deluxe version, you know, that's seven or 800 bucks if they want to spend that. It, it, but, but regardless, we have options out there for so many things. And most people are simply unaware of that. So again, um, you're obviously seeing this on my YouTube channel, but be sure to go to my website, which is docrodage.com. And uh, we're also adding some things to it in uh, in the near future. Uh, we're in mid-January of 2024 at the time of taping this. So, um, you know, we've got some exciting things going on. And, uh, I, you know, I do do public speaking, uh, usually uh, in church settings and just all kinds of exciting things. So now let me switch into something that just this past October of 2023 my wife and I were sitting back on our screened in porch and it was still a beautiful fall day here in South Alabama. And I had been really thinking about trying to do something to block electromagnetic frequencies. And, you know, you get out on Amazon and some of these other places and, you know, these people are selling these medallions that have all these weird like logo things. I don't know if they're new age or not, but they just look kind of strange to me. And I thought, well, I ought to be able to do something like that. I mean, I've been real handy most of my life. I can used to be able to work on cars before they packed everything in. I've done woodworking, electric, you know, all kinds of things just for just to learn and fun things to do. Plus my grandfather and my dad taught me some of those things. So, you know, why not? I should be handy enough to figure this out. So I ordered some materials in um, and then was at my workbench and I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit deep inside saying, well, what would happen now that I've shown you how to make a really strong base to deflect electromagnetic frequencies? And he did. Um, what would happen if you put gemstones in there? And I said, I don't know, Holy Spirit, but I hope you're going to tell me since you brought that up. And because he and I kind of have a, a rolling dialogue like that, which I think is really kind of interesting. And uh, so anyway, um, I started ordering gemstones in and process. Uh, I thought, well, a good place to start would be the Bible. Because when a lot of us think of gemstones, we think of, uh, and I've never watched any of them other than seeing TV advertisements. But, you know, uh, now that time has passed, I guess it's approved for church people to watch Harry Potter. So everybody's talking about the the little wand that the dude has and, you know, with the little crystal at the end and he's doing all of this stuff. And I can't tell you, thankfully not too many, because most people really realize that the Bible is full of scriptures, nearly 300 that talk about gemstones in various ways, either foundational stones, which could be blocked, but then there's all kinds of stuff from the temples to the breastplate of the priest, all about gemstones. Well, then I did a search also about, is there anything that says don't use gemstones? Couldn't find one. Couldn't find one. Now, I could find verses that, you know, not to go to, uh, you know, witches and, and, you know, people that fortune tell, but nothing about gemstones. In fact, you know, Revelation 21, 19 and 20 talks about all the things that the gates of heaven are going to be made out. Um, it talks about, and, and I'm looking at paper here, if you see me looking down, um, uh, 1 Corinthians 3.12, it's a very interesting statement. Now, if any man builds on the foundation of gold, silver, precious stones, or obviously the choice wood, hay, or stubble, things that wouldn't last as they're refined in the fire of God's glory, um, well, how do you build something with precious stones? Just the acts that we do? Perhaps, certainly out of obedience. But why would they be likened to precious stones if precious stones weren't something that people could understand or used in everyday life? Um, there's crystals. The ephod had 12. And in Exodus 28, it talks about each of the three rows that have um, the, the diff or the four rows, I guess it is, that have three stones in each. And beautiful things. Well, what did, what along with the umim and thumim, what was the priest doing? He was trying to get an answer from God. So there's just tons of scriptures out there that, and plus, let's be honest, I've seen ladies wear gemstones in their ears, rubies, sapphires, diamonds around their necks. Well, brother, that's just jewelry. Oh, well, okay. In the Bible, does it say we can't use them for anything else? 
Well, when I was a kid, if you worked hard and saved up a little money and this was show you how old I really am. This was before we had anything called transistor radios, which most of you don't even know what that is probably, probably, but we could get a crystal radio set for a couple of bucks. And if we were handy, we could put it together and then we could listen to the local radio station. Well, the main ingredient that was bringing in everything, the reason it was called a crystal radio is because that used clear quartz crystal to tune things in and to tune with. And so right off the bat, when you start studying the science, and there is science behind gemstones, that most gemstones, though not all, are crystalline in nature. Believe it or not, we are crystalline in nature. So if you go to the water that is supposed to be permeating in, in, into our cells, water is crystalline in nature, and we are a great percentage of water which speaks to the fact that if our water isn't of the highest quality, it doesn't go into the cells. It doesn't coat our, our DNA. And if it doesn't coat our DNA, then the proper frequencies going back and forth between each other don't take place. And that's how we stay tuned, both in a heavenly sense, from the word as we read it and speak it out loud and hear it, and from the very presence of God himself. So he knew what he was doing, his throne made of something that looks like lapis lazuli, which is in one of the medallions that I make. So the story behind it is that the Holy Spirit told me, go ahead and start learning and adding. And he gave me formulas, the first formula that I came up with. So whether the colors are slightly different or not, was one that I call my energy medallion. So I'm hoping that a person will be able to see that at least a little bit right there. This is a black one. Whether it's black or gold or dark blue, they all have the same formula. The interesting thing about this is, is I'm able to test somebody before they put it on through muscle testing. And I have quite a number of people, by the way, and then have them put it on and it changes all their reflexes to much higher frequencies. Now, I'm not suggesting that the, this should be in place of nutrition because it's you really shouldn't. You got Once you take it off, it goes away because you've got to have raw nutrition just the way that we're made. And at least as long as we're walking on 3D earth realm here, um, you know, we need it. But all of a sudden it changed. Well, for those of us who are engaging heaven, I also found out just in a backdoor fashion, you might say, that it also helps clarify our realms, meaning our body, soul, and spirit, and the convergence point that is the human heart, okay? And so when somebody's got a lot of issues, uh, maybe they had some abuse background or different things that have gone on that haven't made for a happy life, and they have one of these on, it seems to give them a, an energetic and frequency break from being bombarded by the enemy just constantly. And that's a good thing because then you can get into the word and, and do all kinds of things that, uh, that you didn't think you could do before. Well, what is really happening is, is that the, this particular one right here, and it comes in a set of two, but not two energy ones. There's one you wear in the evening to kind of calm down and cool down. But this particular one, what it, what it actually does is it dampens about 65% of the electromagnetic frequencies. And then the frequencies hit the backside of the medallion. And then they, they activate the stones, many of which you can't even see because they're actually buried in the, in the acrylic coloring. They, they activate those. And then those stones kind of light up, so to speak, on a, some kind of a spectrum. And they fill our energy field that we walk in with much higher quality frequencies. So if you're watching this and you wonder why that even is a thing, well, if you're being hit with AM, FM, shortwave, long wave, 4G, 5G signals, and who knows what else that, that we're not even being told about, and all of a sudden you've got something that can at least put some better frequencies into the bubble that you walk in, so to speak, that's got to be a good thing. Well, the other one, the one you put on in the evening, and uh, the ladies like this especially, but I wear mine. Guys don't have to worry about this because guys, let's be honest, we stuck it under our t-shirt. Ladies have a different issue. 
but this is the one you wear in the evening. So that's about the best that I can do right there. And it has some electromagnetic field dampening properties. Um, but when you use both of them, you take the energy one off by say five or six in the afternoon and then put the other one on. You're constantly keeping better frequencies in and around your body's own electromagnetic field. And you do have one. That's why when you have an EKG at the doctor's office or they do magnetic reson resonance and things like that, they're picking up that field and looking through and seeing what's going on. And it's not just our energy field that we walk in. Even every one of our organs has a specific energy field that even modern medicine is finding out about now. And I'm addressing that with some of these formulas that I'm making. So anyway, this particular set, you'll, you'll, it's not quite on my website as a, a res at the time of when I'm releasing this video, but eventually it will be. But you can just write me at doc dot rodich dot com remember the period on the email in between but on the on the website it's not there to get both of these including shipping 75 bucks now keep in mind that i ordered things that off the internet that were supposed to be these like magnificent energy blocking bad blocking things paid a lot of money and then i tested them against people and on a scale of zero to ten they were testing me five, six, maybe I think one hit a seven. Mine are about eight to 10 times more powerful than that. Believe it or not, that's what the Holy Spirit showed me to do. So 75 bucks gets you a set of these. I can email you back. You can send me a text message, whatever. And, um, and I can tell you how to get that. Now that doesn't stop there. So after I got pretty good at those, took about a month, which was record time because some of the people that have videos out there said it took them years to figure out formulas. Well, I didn't build on their work. I just had the Lord show me how to do it and what to do and what to put in. And I thought that was pretty cool. So then as I was doing my research initially, I remembered that there was the breastplate of the priest that was called the ephod where they would get answers from heaven. And I thought, well, I'll bet it would look cool if somehow I could get stones that were small enough and find some kind of a format to put them in and just wear it. Why not? I don't know if it would do anything, but just wear it. So I looked them up and, and, and honestly, folks, if you're out there on the internet, you're going to find a bunch of different things that people say, well, the breastplate really had these 12. And well, there's about seven or eight that are always the same, but then there's others. Some I can't even hardly pronounce that vary. Well, I kind of took a consensus and came up with what I thought were the best 12, which in the things that I make have real ruby and real sapphire, real topaz. And instead of diamond, which nobody would even be able to afford to buy it at that point, I use clear crystal because the Lord showed me and I used my testing as well, that clear crystal is 92% as effective as an actual natural diamond. And so for just you know, 50, 60 cents instead of maybe a thousand dollars, I'm going to go for the 50 or 60 cents. And so the function is so close. So this right here, if we can get it up there is the biblical ephod and it's going to be hard to see because of the reflection, but there's 12 stones in there. Well, I didn't know until I, after I made them, what they would do. Well, as I shared earlier, the energy one and the nighttime, evening, PM, rest, relaxation one, um, they bumped up people's numbers pretty good from a frequency point of view. This was, and keep in mind that mine were like six to eight to 10 times stronger than anything else I could find online and buy and then test with people. This is another eight to 10 times stronger than my set of medallions but what it's really used for is just you know you put it around your neck on a nice little chain and it i advise people to use it for when they're praying when they're studying god's word when they're having engagements anytime you're engaging heaven in any fashion worship where the ephod we say well i need to be reminded what do those frequencies do again 
they bring clarity. We have so much chaos and noise around us that these bring clarity. Now, the fact that some New Agers have learned how to use little amulets and things like that shouldn't surprise us because for the most part, people in the church aren't doing research on hardly anything. In fact, so many are bound following religious practices, they, they, they forgot about the Holy Spirit sometimes. Now, nobody wants to hear that, but it's true. Religion, of which Christianity can be a religion, just puts people in a box. Yet you have literally hundreds of scriptures where God is using all of these wonderful design factors, gates of pearl and topaz and Again, names I can't even pronounce. The foundation stones of the heavenly Jerusalem, layers of jade and different beautiful things. He, do you think he knows what he's doing? Well, I, I, in anticipation of some people being very skeptical, I said, well, Lord, where did these things even come from in the first place? Because we have to be careful if we're believers to not be dualistic and somehow well yeah there's really evolution but then there's god no there's not everything was created now whether it was in the six days that some of the different sects think that we've only been around for you know six seven thousand years i i find that a little hard to believe to be frank with you just from the preponderance of evidence however whenever any everything was created there has to be an energy factor that comes from the Holy Spirit hovering over creative substance, that a continent showed up and flowers showed up and animals showed up and things. Well, in the forming of planet Earth and other planets, just the residue of the glory would have been enough to either make gemstones and gold and silver right up front or put the components into the ground so that Earth and other planets could make it, some of these on their own. For instance, like crystals dripping from the ceiling and that kind of thing. Everything is by God's design. And my challenge is to all of the believers is quit letting new ages and witches and warlocks using the mechanical side of things to their advantage. I mean, basically, we've allowed ourselves, and I, I have several friends that are Amish, and I love them to, to pieces, but we're basically the Amish of the world, still having to ride around in horse and buggies, and everybody else is out there running around in Lamborghinis. Now, just because that's a, that seems to be the case doesn't mean in and of itself that we've missed something, but in this case, there's a lot of things that are the mechanics of the universe that are just as mechanical as gravity and, and you know, other laws of, of thermodynamics and nature that everybody's subject to. We should embrace them. Unless you can figure out a way to how to walk off a building and float, that's fine. If you, can, if you know how to do that, I haven't got there yet. But I'm going to use what I have at my access, and, and that is going to be these stones that bring clarity. And I can tell you that my dream life has just been like on steroids with this thing. Well, that's the third thing that I've made. There is a fourth. So I was listening to a gentleman that some of you may have heard. And uh, cause I'd never heard of him before, honestly, until just a few weeks ago. And again, this is uh, mid January of 2024, a guy named Troy Brewer listened to him really liked him because, uh, He's just kind of a rough old redneck guy like me. And well, he's actually quite a bit younger than I am, but uh, um, really enjoyed his teaching. And he spoke about, and I'd heard this before, I mean, actually decades ago in, in, in another form, about how the Zodiac and the cosmos and everything was really the gospel written in the stars. And, and so that's not new, but he had a wonderful way that he he taught that. And, and all of a sudden I'm out on my workbench and putting some things together for some orders because it got really, really busy over Christmas time. And uh, I heard the Holy Spirit say again, uh, why don't you make a Maseroth stone? And I went, okay, Maseroth. I heard him say Maseroth. That's all the writing of things in, in the heavens. But what stone? Well, I very clearly heard, use the 12 stones that are for the tribes of Israel 
but then uses stone. Actually, there's ended up being three or four that I can use in the center that is that is typical of the earthly tabernacle. And if you do that, instead of being an engagement tool as you're doing things for heaven and you know reading your word and worshiping, this will be a tool of government, even though it's almost identical, except for three or four different tiny stones in the middle. It has a completely different function, which is when you're in the courts of heaven, um, when you're on your mountain and you're ruling with authority, releasing decrees. And that is this particular one right here. Now, they, I've made them in different configurations. And I realize that the video quality isn't going to be like super, super great. So but it's got the 12 stones around the edges and then the other stones in the center. And I can tell you that the, the two original medallions bumped all of the numbers up. The ephod bumped up on top of my good numbers from that six, eight, 10 times with some people. This one is off the charts. I can't, I can't even measure it. I don't know what it would do long-term. It doesn't have like any, like if you, you know, put it under a light, it's not going woo, woo, woo. And <clears throat> those of you who have seen Enoch in person, you know, in your spiritual engagements know that he has this like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh that kind of accompanies him that must be some kind of electromagnetism or spiritual energy or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, um, and those of you who don't have any idea know what I'm talking about. We engage heaven on a regular basis. And with the, our spirit part of us, we're actually seeing things going on in heaven so with, with Christ Jesus being deep in the center of our soul, as well as the Holy Spirit and all in our heart and everything, we're living in both places at the same time. So if you're not there yet, buy my book that's on the website. It's called Moving Towards Sonship, okay? It's just 25 bucks if you order it off of Amazon, not Kindle, but just regular Amazon, or you can go to lulu.com. And I guarantee you that it'll be a, a segue between... Um, your life as it is now. And it's really written for people to be able to transition into a deeper spiritual life. And it, and it was given to me completely by the Lord. So I, I can barely take credit for much of anything other than just writing it down. So, you know, give him the glory. So anyway, the Maseroth here. Now, the pricing on these, because this has, this one has two real rubies in it in Sapphire and 175. This one is 150 okay now i do have a combination price if you buy all four and i'm not going to tell you what that is because you know this could be 10 years from now and this is still online and you know the cost of things could be 18 times higher by then who knows but you can always email me at doc.rodich at gmail.com and so if you're somebody that's actively in prayer, actively worshiping, actively going into the courts, you need your energy set, you need your evening focus and rest, you also need an ephod for general things that you're doing in your engagements and worship and prayer, and also you need the Maseroth when you're doing governmental work. Now, finally, for this particular video, let me shift a little bit over into the spiritual testimony. I'm not going to give the long um, explanation other than your voice also shares almost like a lie detector does to somebody who's trained in looking at a lie detector. What traumas may be lurking in the background if you have generational issues going on. So if you don't believe that those can exist, I can't help because they do. And your voice is going to tell me. So there are actually four sheets of testing. One that we put up basically how your walk is doing, how your union with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is going. And we put a number on it so that if it's a little low, it gives you something to engage, something to work on. How you're getting communion benefits, how you're doing on your mountain. Are you still being nipped at a little bit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? We can find all that out on the first sheet. The second sheet is traumas that have happened in your lifetime. They are not generational. The, the third and fourth sheets are usually, or they could be things you did too. And there is a process by which we can identify 
which area of the body that those things are hiding out in because they like to hide out in one of nine major areas and they usually affect an organ. So if you've ever gone to the doctor and you just don't feel good and they run every test in the world and can't find out what's going on, you probably have a cyclic trauma, meaning cycling in the background that is causing you to feel bad and it's affecting your organs, but not at this point where it's showing up as a disease and be thankful for that if, if it hasn't reached disease state because that's the enemy's end goal is to take us all out or to terraform us into something that's other than human and we are getting to that point in history just as a, a something to point out so the the third and fourth sheets then we actually go into things like uh if the enemy has been able to get a hold of one of your timelines and uh, keep you from going in the direction that God wants you to go in. We can tell whether that's in your body, soul, spirit. Uh, we can tell if there's soul ties. We can tell if your your song, your inner song that is supposed to be resonating back and forth between you and God, if that is where it's supposed to be. We can find out if you've got Masonic stuff in your background, and you know if I and if I feel up to it, I can even tell you what levels are still bothering all from your voice. Well, if you go to the website, which is docrodich.com, you'll see on one side, it's the nutritional testing. The other side, it is the spiritual tests. Now, just as a point of recommendation, you've heard me many times on this particular video say, um, if you're engaging heaven, well, we're all, if we're believers, engaging heaven in some fashion. But if you purposely are doing it and you know about government, you know about the courts, those tests are for you if you've never had them done. The other folks, maybe one or two of them, and I could maybe work with you a little bit, but some of the things aren't going to be applicable, honestly, until you read my book or you get a hold of some other way to transition away from old dead tra traditional Christianity, and I'm even including Pentecostal and in charismatic and you know evangelical groups who are locked into the same old religious stuff over and over again instead of being bona fide sons and daughters of the king who walk in the freedom of christ and that freedom means greater holiness greater focus not less just to let you know about all those kinds of things so just be wise you know everybody can use a nutritional consultation and from what I'm seeing, because, I mean, I've sold literally hundreds of these now, everybody certainly needs the energy medallion and the, the rest-focused uh, evening one. And the, the stories, we're getting some of the greatest and the funniest uh, stories coming in about people forgetting to take them off. And then they don't sleep for like a whole night or they sleep for three hours. And I said, but right in the paperwork, I tell you, take it off by 6 p.m. But what's happening is, is our bodies are being worn out by everything we're bombarded with. And after like a month, maybe six, seven weeks, the frequencies are so much cleaner that come through these that our body just says, I don't need to sleep that much. And people are talking, it's really kind of cute because people are talking about all these things they're getting done now that they never could get done before because they were always tired and that kind of thing. So, uh, Folks, this is it. This is this is what I actually do. Uh, I certainly always would appreciate your prayers. And as always, just like on Facebook, no haters. Uh, if you serve the living God and you have a real legitimate question, do your own Bible research instead of have, you know calling me up and saying, hey, I need you to explain to me. Well, no offense, but who are you? I know who I am, but I don't necessarily know who you are. God love you, but... Uh, you know, do your own research and you'll find that there's nothing, not one scripture that tells us not to use gemstones in a proper way. So let's not be new age experts, even though none of us are. And let's move into the full things of the spirit and take advantage of everything that the living God has given to us to move into the fullness of sonship, to be obedient sons and daughters of the king. And then finally, it's time that we stop talking and it's time that we start doing, just like James says, we got to start making a difference, guys and gals. What the church has done for these last 17, 1800 years, with the exception of different little pockets of things, has been very minimal. And we're waiting for God to move. But I'll leave you with this question. 
what if God is waiting for you to move? Well, God bless you, and uh, we appreciate you listening, and I hope this has been a benefit. And uh, I'm always welcome emails. I may not get back to you for a day or two, but it would just be wonderful to be able to uh, uh, get to meet some new folks. So God bless you all.